when wrong becomes normal when abnormality becomes normal to us there is a deep problem within our society you see somebody made a video and said those who said yesterday that oh sorry to those who died they are the ones who are now victims today and those who are saying oh sorry to those who died yesterday today they are the ones who will be victims tomorrow it's not just tweeting there are many things that are going on in nigeria you see uh boko Haram attacked a military base is it in mali the government fired the uh, chief of staff the same boko Haram attacked in uh shad they also fired the chief of staff but in nigeria nobody gets fired so how do you expect that kind of thing to actually uh how do you expect people to actually win so you're seeing Saraki tweeting and saying his heart is with these people. You are saying Governor Wiki is saying, uh, sorry about that. He's saying that he joins the Nigerian youth to call on the federal government to look to the SAS menace and put an end to it. You see the presidency, they are always doing uh, condolence. And then you, somebody is saying that SAS should be added to the uh, terrorist list. Uh, they've refused to put uh, 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 book, uh sorry the full only has me in the list of terrorists but they are going after ipop something that is debatable then you are seeing this guy saying when we start assess half sense when and then you are uh we have dr 18 saying the sas should be disbanded and every policeman in the unit consulted to the nigerian army after retraining a psychological evaluation they should then join the army at the front line in the war against Boko Haram. They should not be allowed into normal society. That is a very good one. And then you have basket masses. So does it mean that we are paying the police SAS it is it to be killing us? Because the last time I checked, they are still being paid from our taxes. Then we have Kent Ensure in saying that they should end the task that maybe it's time for people to start carrying arms themselves. If if it's not a driver getting blooded by some policeman because of one driver, it will be the Nigerian the life of an innocent youth caught short by SAS. And then we have uh, Opeyemi Babarola. I know something will trigger the much uh, needed revolution in Nigeria. Maybe the SAS protest is what we'll be, be waiting for. Just maybe. And then we have uh, Israel Ola Dipupo says this Friday there will be national stadium where they will do a uh, rally against SAS. I know that it will be 8 a.m. at the National Stadium, Lagos. So, with that, I want to talk about some issues that concern the Nigerian society. Maybe how they may be addressed. You see, there are quotes here I, I, I put below. One of them it says, The capital will never let the captive go by we. We already know that. The master will never let the slave go by we. The oppressor will never leave the oppressed by we. And like Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death in the American Revolution. You see, um, there are things that we have to do as a people. Just talking about Twitter, Instagram, going on the internet, David Doe reacted, and all the, uh, the celebrities, Tiwa Savage, uh, actually reacted also. But that is not enough. They were savage we are reacting. It's not enough. We need people who will actually come out and react in the best way possible. <laughs> you see, when you go on the internet, you talk about the yellow vest, the yellow vest protest in France that has spread all over the world. This protest has this protest is going up to 20 weeks in a row. 20 weeks. In a row, people have been protesting in 20 weeks in a row. You talk about the protest in Algeria. You talk about the protest in Bucharest. You're talking about a protest where over 1 million people. Go and, go and, go and watch the videos on the internet. Over 1 million people protested hundreds of thousands if they show you the footage you will be shocked 
What about Algeria? The people, they are, in the, they are, they are there protesting. You see, Nigeria, we, we say we don't like what is going on in the country. And then uh, we sit in our house or on Twitter. We are saying they should answer us. We are saying uh, we don't want these leaders anymore. How many people will close their shop now? How many people will skip classes <laughs> and say they want to change Nigeria? Listen, I don't want to make this video very long. Let me end with this. Nigeria will not change until you and I are ready to die for it. What I mean by that is until you are ready to die, until you are ready to leave your career, it's not going to change. Well, staying abroad and tweeting or staying in your office and tweeting, doing Instagram and Facebook and going on celebrities, it's not going to change. Until we want the society to change, it's, we will know that the society wants to change. We will start singing our songs. We will start acting the movies. When we start going for protests, when we start going from schools to schools, universities, secondary schools, and calling for these things, until we start doing campaigns in the market, it's not going to change. So when we say all these people, they were savage, who they call celebrities, uh, Sarakis, the Wikis, the presidency, the the mayor of the Twitter city, all these blah 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 basket mouths, they are just basket mouths. It is not going to change. It is not going to change. It will only change when people say they are tired of it. So guys, this is where we end for now.